Hey guys, welcome to episode three. This is all about the components now. Uh, we've already put in the SSD because that's just where our case like makes us put it in. So just for the sake of the video, we put it in there. But in your case, it could be somewhere completely different. I mean, if you've got this case, then it's gonna be there. And you know, so okay. please check the bracket for your SSD in the manual for your case. Yes, all about the manual. Okay, so let's remove this bit here. Now we'll start with the DVD drive. So I'm just going to slide this in nice and smoothly. I've already got this thing here undone, so it'll go in nice and smooth. You may have screws there, depending on your case. Yeah. Okay. For this particular case, we have clips for the drives. Just slide it back. Yeah, there's a wire. Okay. Okay. Is that so in? That, yep. Okay. So and that then is that in. secure. So if I had another DVD drive or anything else that would go in here, I would just unhook that. Simple. Just do that. But I only have one DVD DVD drive for now. So second thing is hard drives. I've got two 500 gigabytes. You know, one terabyte. One one terabyte. So here we go. Move it feet. I'm just gonna slide that in. Is that in the right spot? Yeah. Slide that in. Despite its protests. Now we've already attached the clips to the sides of these drives. You may or may not have clips like this. This is a whole clip where you just bend this them is, apart. This is just something that comes with this computer. Yeah. In you, this case, I mean. You will have see? clips on the side. There's the clips there for this particular case. Please so take that. note that you may have different clips. You may actually manually have to screw it in depending on yeah. your case. These these fit into the screws. There, I don't have a hard drive to actually show you, but you, there are screws here, like where normally that would screw into an actual thing, where it wasn't actually just clips. So that's how it stays in without falling. And on this particular case, it's completely toolless installation for the hard drives. Yep. And then they just they lock in place. The only way to pull these out are to actually squeeze those together. So that's all good. So now we got the one terabyte. And this is the last hard drive. Just slide that in. And boom, all done. So that's it for the hard drives. We've already got the SSD. Let's take care of the sound card now. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to close that so it doesn't hit me in the face. I'm going to waddle all over here. Okay, so here we are. I've already taken out these just for the sake of saving time. So here we are. I'm going to move these wires out of the way. Move that spider web. And that's going to go <laughs> into the PCI, mini PCI slot at the top there, above the main PCI Express Oops. times 16 slot. Yeah. If you just line that up. Yep. And that blender it up. Okay. So here we are. That's that. Yeah, that's, that's not anything. Okay. So I've got the screw for that now, which I'm going to put on the end of that. And I'm going to screw this in. It's really important that you screw it in, otherwise it'll just start vibrating around, which is not good. So, put that in there. It's really crucial to do this right, otherwise it will come back to bite you. Alright, so that's there. I'm going to start screwing that in. Make sure it is nice and firm, not too tight, otherwise you might not be able to get it back out. So there it goes. I think we're just about there. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Just a little bit of wiggle, but that's fine. Okay, that's right, so fine. that's the sound card. Yep. Alright, now I'm going to grab the graphics card. Here we go. This thing is about... 11 12 inches long. This is a Radeon uh, Sapphire HD 7950 Dual X. It's quite a heavy card, quite a long card. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. going to go into the PCI Express times 16, actually 3.0. And that is right here at the top. Should... There are three on this motherboard, on the ATX motherboard. Yeah. It should give us plenty of space here to plug this in without having any problems. Yeah, you got that lined up long. It's really important that you get line this up just perfect, otherwise you will have problems. So there we go. Was that clipped in there? Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to screw this in 
So we have our proper, move that there, that keeps falling out. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna screw this in, same as before, nice and firm, not too tight, not too, not too hard, not too loose as well. So I'm gonna keep screwing that in. Nice and good, there you go. It's giving me trouble now, so that's how you know. I'm not trying to rip the threading, so, you know. That's important, you really can't do that. Otherwise, if you tried to take this back out, you'd have problems. So, you really don't want to have problems. So there you go, the light has gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is nice and firm. That is not gonna wiggle. Plenty of clearance on the side there. So, for many different cards, if you're doing a crossfire configuration, you'll want to space them apart. Uh, either go in the second slot down or the third and use your crossfire or SLI bridge to connect the two cards. Yeah. In the next episode we'll be covering power and plugging everything in and getting the power supply installed. Yep. All right. I believe that's all for the components. Yeah, that's okay. We'll see you in the next part.